This is part 127 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between date time and small date time data types in SQL Server. We have the differences here in the table. Let's understand these differences with examples. We'll use this employees table in this demo. Notice this table has got two columns, small date time and date time. And the data types of these columns are small date time and date time respectively. The first difference is from the date range perspective. If you look at the date range for small date time, it is January 1st, 1900 to June 6, 2079. And for date time, it is January 1st, 1753 to December 31st, 1999. Obviously, the date range for date time data type is much bigger than small date time data type. If you look at the query right here, notice we are inserting a date value for the small date time column. And if you look at the small date time data type, its date range is from January 1st, 1900 to June 6th, 2079. And if you look at this date value right here, this is less than the minimum value. So when we execute this query, obviously we are going to get an error. And if you look at what the error says, it says out of range value. And if you look at this value right here, this is greater than the maximum date. So again, when we execute this query, we are going to get the same error. And if you look at this query right here, we're inserting a date value for date time column in the employees table. And if you look at the date time data type, its date range is from January 1st, 1753 to December 31st, 1999. And if you look at this date value right here, this is less than the minimum date. So again, when we execute this query, we're going to get the same error. So obviously, depending on the data type that you pick, the values that you supply must fall within the date range. Otherwise, you're going to get out of range error. The next difference is from the time range perspective. For small date time, it is from 0 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds to 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. For date time, it is 0 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds to 23 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds, and 997 milliseconds. And if you look at the accuracy for small date time, it is up to a minute. And for date time data type, it is 3.33 milliseconds. So obviously, date time data type has got more accuracy accuracy than small date time data type. Let's understand what we mean by this accuracy. So if you look at either the date time data type or small date time data type, you know, they have got two parts in them. One is the date part and the other one is the time part. And if you look at the time part, it has got hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. Look at the value right here. So this is the date part and here is the time part. And if you look at the time, it is 12 hours, 35 minutes, 29 seconds, and 998 milliseconds. So for small date time data type, you know, if you have a seconds value of 29.998, so here 29 is seconds and the value that is present after the dot are milliseconds. Okay, so if the value is 29.998 um, seconds are lower, then that time will be rounded down to the nearest minute. So if you look at the time right here, it is 12 hours, 35 minutes, 29 seconds, 998 milliseconds. Now when I execute this query, since I'm inserting this value for small date time column, whose data type is small date time, the time value will be rounded to the nearest minute. Okay, so since this is 29.998, okay, any value that is 29.998 seconds or lower will be rounded down. So in this case, the time will be stored as 12.35, 12 hours, 35 minutes, and 00, 00 seconds. Let's actually look at that in action. Execute the query, it inserts the date and time, and when we select the data back from it, look at that. 12 hours, 35 minutes, and zero seconds. It is rounded down to its nearest minute. Let's truncate the data. Now let's look at the next query. So if you look at this query right here, now we have the same time, 12 hours, 35 minutes, but this time the seconds value is 29.999. Okay, so if you have values with 29.999, 999 seconds or higher, then that time will be rounded up to the nearest minute. So in this case, the time will be rounded to 1236. Okay, so let's execute this and see what we get. So when we select the data, 
Notice now the time is 1236. That's why the accuracy for small date data type uh, is up to a minute. Whereas for daytime data type, it is 3.33 milliseconds. Let's understand this again with an example. So let's truncate the data that we already have in employees table. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is for small date time data type, if the value for seconds is 2.99, I mean 29.998 or lower, then it will be rounded down to the nearest minute. If it is 29.999 or higher, then it will be rounded up to the nearest minute. Whereas if the data type is date time data type, and if you have these milliseconds, you know, actually the milliseconds will be rounded in increments of these three values here. Okay, 0 0.00 or 0 0.003 or 0 0.007. Okay, those are milliseconds, all right? And if you look at the time right here, look at the milliseconds specifically, okay? 990, 991. So in these two cases, the time will be rounded to 0 0.990, okay? Because zero is the nearest one for zero and one, okay? So let's execute these two queries and select the data. So now we expect the data, I mean the time basically to be 23 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds and 990 milliseconds. So when I select the data, notice that we get 990 as the milliseconds. Let's truncate this. And if you have, you know, 992 or 993 or 994 in this case it will be rounded to 993 because remember what we have said it will be rounded to increments of 000, 003 or 007 and for all these three values 003 is the nearest one so when we execute these three queries we expect the time to be 23 hours 59 minutes 59 seconds and milliseconds to be 993 so when we select the data, look at that. For all the three um, values, we get 993. And in this case, the nearest value is 997. So 995, 996, 997, 998, all of them will be rounded to its nearest increment, which is 997. So let's truncate the data from employees table and execute these queries. And let's select the data and notice everything is rounded to 997 and finally we have 999 so it will be incremented to I mean rounded to nearest zero so in this case since the time is 23 hours 59 minutes 59 seconds and 999 milliseconds the date is going to change in this case so let's truncate the data and let's insert this so the date now will have to be, you know, 2nd January 1995 and hours, minutes, seconds and milliseconds, everything will become zero. Notice that. Okay, January 2nd, 1995. So that's the difference as far as the accuracy is concerned. Obviously, date time data type is more accurate than small date time data type. And the size, obviously, small date time um, takes four bytes, whereas date time takes eight bytes twice the size of small date time data type and the default value for both the data types is the same January 1st 1900 0 over 0 minutes and 0 seconds thank you for listening and have a great day